I felt we should have helped those men. For half a century, George Voyinovich lived a humble life as a salesman in blue collar Queens, New York. But during World War II, he was a 29 year old officer for the Office of Strategic Services, the CIA of its day, training men for a top secret rescue behind enemy lines. I feel great that I helped to save him. Called Operation Halyard, it was a massive airlift of more than 500 Allied pilots and crew. But I was the operations officer. Knew the circumstances over there, knew the country. It was the summer of 1944. Hundreds of Allied airmen, mostly Americans, were shot down in the hills of Yugoslavia. They were surrounded by Nazi troops. Vojinovic's wife, who worked for the Yugoslavian embassy, tipped her husband off about the secret location of the downed men. My wife wrote me a letter see what you can do. And so a bold mission was born. We trained them in uh, espionage as much as we could. To get them out, Vojinovic had to build a makeshift airfield from C 47s to make quick, daring rescue drops, an operation that went on for four months without being detected by the Germans. He trained Serbian speaking agents in Barry, Italy, who learned how to blend in with Yugoslav rebels hiding the Allied soldiers in farms. They nourished us, they hid us from the Germans. And some of them lost their lives because. Tony they... Orsini, a downed navigator, spent five weeks protected by Serbian villagers before being airlifted home. In total, it took more than 40 flights to rescue 512 airmen. Do you credit George with saving your life? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Orsini still keeps the missing in action telegram given to his parents and the Serbian dagger given to him for protection. He is the architect of the greatest rescue mission in World War II. A 95 year old architect whose story is no longer a secret, but his award bittersweet. I'm sad because some of these men that we sent in uh, are not here so they can share in this honor. An honor along with the thanks of a grateful nation. Sean Hennessy, CBS News, New York.